Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the last video, I talked about how to enable your Azure Defender once you have your subscription. In this video, I'm just going to quickly tell you a few more things that you should do after you have enabled your Azure Defender plan. So right now, you know, by default, this is, is on, but you have to come over here and click on upgrade button to turn this one on, which is the Azure Defender. So I have it on. So on the left hand side, you should go to the settings and auto provisioning. We have already configured for the virtual machines. Now they are now providing a couple more Microsoft dependency agent, which is in a preview mode. You can turn that on and see how it's working for you. Uh, with this one, you can collect and store network traffic data by onboarding the VM inside service. Okay. And they have something new policy add-on for Kubernetes. So you can also enable that one right now. I do not have any Kubernetes cluster, but if you have one, then you can uh, start making use of these policies. Uh, this feature extends the Gatekeeper version 3 to apply at scale enforcement and safeguards to your clusters in a centralized, consistent, consistent manner. So something is maybe useful for you. The other thing uh, that I'm, I'm going to save, every time I do something I'm going to save, don't forget to save, otherwise they will not uh, retain your configurations. Email notification, you can uh, select uh, if you if there is something, you, you, you configure your email so that as you know where to send uh, notifications about high, medium or low alerts, okay? So you can configure all of that. Uh, from the threat detection standpoint, you just want to make sure that these two buttons are checked. They're automatically checked, so really you don't have to do too much in here. Workflow automation re uh, needs more attention, more thoughts. If you want to do, if something is uh, found that uh, uh, a security issue, how you want to automate and come up with the process. So that's what you are going to configure here. Uh, continuous export is something uh, you should look at. So you at least need a, a log analytics workspace or you need a event hub. Is it export enabled? This is, this, this is on, which is good but uh, export frequency streaming update snapshot preview so you don't have to worry about it this is turned on but what you should should uh, uh, make sure that you have enabled is what are you exporting security recommendation yes security score uh, controls if you want to yeah, control threat direction all controls that's good security alerts let's enable that one and regulatory compliance so i want to send it to my event hub for all of them okay and then it's also you don't have to do anything for here uh, resource group so you, where you have to actually configure your event hub namespace which i don't have any so you gotta configure an event hub where you are going to collect all the data then you can use the data maybe feed it to a splunk feed it to sentinel and 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 work on it okay um, and the last thing that you want to do is if you have other cloud providers if you are a multi-cloud environment maybe you have a aws uh, presence you have a gcp presence if you have anything like that you can connect those environments so that you can collect data from these other cloud environments and collect everything in azure security center so that's about it that's all i wanted to cover in this quick video so if you have not done this you may find it useful and go ahead and use the security center uh, to the best uh, you can thank you for watching if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos have a great day